Well, welcome to part 70 of Let's Play Night Star Republic to the Sith Lords. Alright. My uh, throat's been kind of scratchy today, so I may call for stuff during the, this part. So, if I do, I apologize. Where the hell am I going? I was going to Mandalore, not over here. Alright, so we're going to head to Aziz. I didn't think of anything to do to distract myself from going to Aziz, so let's just head on. <clears throat> let's talk to Mandalore. Get get back here. Don't walk away when I'm trying to talk to you. Are you ready to go to Isis yet? Let's go. I'm going to talk with Zuka and have him start a shuttle flight check. After that, we'll head out. How are the port stabilizers? They check out Mandalore. All systems are green. Good. I want the shuttle bound for Onderon within the hour. What do you want? Is all in readiness. <laughs> it is. Like I promised. Why? You want to back out now? My only concerns are for the one you escort to Onderon, Mandalorian. Would you do any less for one of your clan? Don't pretend to understand us. We Mandalorians are a breed apart. If by apart you mean scattered, broken, and lost, then yes, you are correct. Not for long. Soon the Mandalorians will be strong again, united as one clan under one banner. Mine. Ah, yes. The Great Crusade, after the first one was ended by Revan and the Jedi. Such a defeat was merciful, an echo of the end, when your ships were in flames, crushed in the grip of Malachor V. But I do not need to remind you of such things. I was at Malachor V, and I remember how many Jedi died to stop us there. And no matter how many dead orbit that planet, the Mandalorians still live. Clan Ordo still lives. See Kex there? He was serving on Nar Shaddai's muscle for the huts. Kelborn was a scout for the Duros on Frontier Worlds. I brought them here, gave them a purpose. This galaxy will be ours again, I promise you. That is the future. Indeed. The future is always in motion. It is a difficult thing to see. Perhaps there will be no New Age Mandalore, no Great Mandalorian Crusade. Perhaps your people fought their last battle at Malachor V, and you have been dying ever since. A quiet death that will last centuries. And perhaps all that remains will be what I see before me. A man wounded by a Jedi, encased in a Mandalorian shell, hunted by the thought of being the last of the Mandalorians. Got some guts talking to me like that. You think your age or your Jedi whelp are going to keep you safe from me? No, Mandalore. You are wrong. I hope that it is you who will keep the one I travel with safe. You are loyal, and you have served many masters, even when they abandoned you. Do you wonder where he wanders now, Mandalore? Why he gave you your orders, then abandoned you at the edge of the galaxy? How do you know that? I know many things. And I can answer the question that burns within your shell, Mandalore. But there is a price. You must keep the one I travel with safe. She is important to me, more important than anything. Show the same loyalty you have shown in the past, Mandalore. If there is a Mandalorian crusade, let it be for something that will carry your people's memory into the future. So when the time comes when there are no more Mandalorians, then at least their honor will remain. The one I travel with has walked your same path. And I ask that when the end comes, that you remember that kinship, even if it seems there is nothing else left. Forget the Jedi. Keep your eyes on her. Wow. <clears throat> that was a lot of weird storyline stuff. What? What? Sense there is a disturbance in the camp. Our enemy has tracked us here. I did not expect them so soon. How did they get here, I wonder? Regardless, we must eliminate them all. None of them can escape. Our whereabouts must remain a secret. Let us join the battle. Our allies will need our help. Why don't we just leave, and then they won't find us? All right, of course, won't Hanhar and, I guess, Visas. Or neither. Do I... Okay. 
Why didn't I get them, I wonder? But no matter, let's just, let's kill some Sith stuff. Okay, use four storms. Stop using your saber. You suck with the saber. The graphics are acting weird here. It's like the... There we... No, that one wasn't much better. The, the four storm, the lightning bolt, stay in there like... Way after the sound goes away. And it's going before the sound goes, so... Oh, well... Yay, it's lagging. Awesome. Let's go over here. I guess there's too many things fighting. Oh, another one. What? What are you doing? You can't sneak attack me like that. Uh... Okay. One available slots, and see, we have a new party member. Mandalore, a level 5 soldier. Dang, he's going to need a lot of leveling up. Let's just keep Hanhar, and that way we're going to have all three kind of uh, weapon types represented. We'll have a Jedi with me, we'll have a melee fighter with Hanhar, and a ranged fighter with Mandalore, so that's cool. And Okay, that was weird. So yeah, a lot of storyline going on right now. I'm, I never actually Aren't really you seeing that the Republic ship attacked first. That's madness. Unfortunately, okay. lie or not, it's a madness people will believe. The timing of this is atrocious. A space battle above our skies. So many of our fighters lost. Curiously, only Tobin's men were involved in that battle. That shooter. Strong word, Your Majesty. But there is no good time for news like this. I recommend we continue with our plan. But won't that bring even more followers to Vaclu's side? Increasing his power? For a time, perhaps. Though we both know he's not the true threat. It's his unseen support from the shadows that we must drag out into the light. Then, and only then, can we strike. I fear by then it will be too late. As I was saying, I never really paid attention to that part of the storyline regarding Mandalore. I know there's a lot of stuff behind it, but um, Here we are. I'm sure you guys know more than I do. Shut down tight for months now. General Vaclu is close to declaring martial law. We won't be able to travel too far in the city. Fortunately, I have a friend in this quarter of the city. He's a doctor by the name of Dagon Ghent. His office is on the other side of the market square. It might be best if you do the talking around here. The Andoronians have a mixed view. Okay, um, it might have cut out a cutscene. Hmm. It may have been supposed to show a cutscene of us flying the shuttle from Duxon to Isis, but well, it kind of skipped it, so sorry about that. There's something here in the air, like a scent, but not from anything that lives. Okay. Can you track it? No, it is everywhere, all around us. This silent mental uh, telepathy of Hanhar is coming through here. Something is wrong on this planet. A sickness, the beasts, the tame, broken ones, I feel it. Even in their cages, I slay the prey are becoming predators again. Okay. You can, you can say something else now, Hanhar. Okay, is, is the sound just not working or something? It is like a sickness driving them to see blood behind their eyes. Something is driving them to kill. They recognize that something is coming and that will kill them all. Feed on them. It will drive them mad and make them angry enough to kill. Their unrest is echoed in the humans around them, stirring them to attack or kill. Or making them frightened like prey. Predator is coming to this planet. They know it. Okay, what about the people here? Two tribes... Okay, they will come to war. The musk of violence is part of the sickness that cloaks this planet. Alright, we'll deal with it when it shows itself. Come on. 
All right, I'm not sure if the sound's just not working or not. I mean, I hear. There we go. I suppose the lockdown has hurt your profits as well. You are human, aren't you? Your face looks. Oh, never mind. What about my face? It must be hard to shuttle people when nobody's allowed to leave. The blockade has been bad for everyone. Any news on the blockade? Nothing new. Our space forces have been in full readiness ever since the space battle in orbit. Tensions are running high. All Republic vessels must be searched, and the delays are turning pilots grey before their time. Ever since the Republic fired on our space forces, things have been even slower. Bad days. Bad days. And things are getting worse. I'd get out of the system quickly if I were your friend. Well, doesn't look like you have any trade goods, so the inspection's just a formality. You just start with visa. Don't lose it. They're priceless right now. What's a starport visa? If you want to leave the planet, you need a starport visa. They're very hard to get. Many people want to get out of here before things get worse. Okay, how's the situa situation here in Onderon? There's strict food and water rationing, and General Vaclu's troops have been very thorough in finding Republic dissidents. Bombing's very common. Why are starport visas priceless? If you want to leave the planet, okay, never mind. Visa. I guess maybe I asked that already. <laughs> Can I go now? Certainly. All right, so we got Gracara's starport visa. That's cool. So yeah, it may have cut out that cutscene. I'm not sure if there was supposed to be one or not. I feel like there was supposed to be one, so... Oh well. Uh-oh. There's little blurs on the screen. That means I was thinking something. What's this about? Why did I see that? I must talk to you. Is it too much to hope that you are a Talosian merchant? Why do you ask? These beasts you see here are for delivery to Telos. No, oh, that one is shaking in that cage. Have to wait for thorough and needlessly long searches. So the city is stacked with caged beasts waiting for their ships. We have stopped oh, now, that poor Boma. I think that's a Boma. For Drexel and Ryder, the Athorians brought wealth and prosperity. Our settlements prospered. Who are you? I am a beast rider. I have flown great distances. Sounds so awesome. As you see here, we keep hoping that Ethorians or Telosians get through the Space Force's searches so that we can sell them. Uh, your beasts seem restless. They have been kept in their cages for a long time. But yet at times, I feel as if something else is affecting them. Frightening them. Perhaps it is the city itself. Isis has fallen upon dark times, and tensions run high in the streets. Why do you have so many beasts in cages? These beasts you see here are for delivery to Telos, but the Republic vessels that transport them have to wait for thorough and needlessly long searches. Okay, I think I already heard this. We have stopped gathering beasts now. But oh, maybe not. The city. For Drexel and Ryder, the Athorians brought wealth and prosperity. Our settlements prosper. Oh, I did hear this. Damn it. Why does Talos want your beast? Talos was attacked by Darth Malak in the Jedi Civil War. The surface was completely destroyed. The Athorians have been searching for appropriate wildlife to create a new Talos, but their merchants are stalled by the blockade. Okay, I guess tell me about Beast Riders. Our people have been here for centuries. Though we were not always one with the wilds of Onderon. In ancient times, our people were criminals. Prisoners who were cast out of Isis and sentenced to die by the beasts in the wilds. But our ancestors learned how to survive and even tame the mighty beasts. They became our strength and companions. We fought endlessly with Isis for resources and survival. But two generations ago, an Isis princess named Galia and a great beast rider hero, Oron Kira, married. They united our peoples. But now things are unraveling. Even the beasts can smell it in the air. Okay, well since I'm running out of time, I'll be going now. And in the next part, I don't know, we might talk to him again and figure out why things are unraveling. 
But uh, for now, I'm going to cut it here, and I will see you guys in the next part. Thank you for watching.